uh, the Menashe Test Range. We opened it up in the Kittitas County because the Swak Tianoe one didn't, wasn't a part of the livestock part of it. So we reopened the Menashe Test Range for what do you, what kind of animal do you raise for this? I raise lambs. Start from when you get up in the morning and you go out to start taking care of the lamb. What do you got to do? Tell me what that's like. So first I have to feed him. And then when I finish, and then I let him eat for a little while. Then I let him run in this pen we have so he can run and get his wormies out. Squirmies out, and then after his that, what? squirmies. Like when, because he, he jumps a lot. When I try to show him, because he would jump a lot, and it also builds muscle if he runs. So sometimes I have to be out there and run him, and other times I just let him out there to run if he wants to run or just relax and have more space. And that's sort of like human kids, isn't it? You got to let them get the squirmies out. Yeah. And run around. Yeah. And exercise. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, and then I have to brace him and then and walk him. And the reason you're doing all this is to prepare him for the show. Right. And so do you name them? We do. My name, my first, when I had my two, I named them Boomerang and Jefferson. The one I ha now have is Jefferson. There's this lamb thing I went to because my lamb would jump a lot and he told, and the judge there, told me to hold his head a little higher because I push his head up against my chest so his head would be up because you have to have their head up in the show ring. So instead of putting it right here, pull it up here. You're growing up on a farm. What do you think you're learning that other kids who you know live in town Responsi can't learn? Responsibility, time management, uh, more about nature because we grow hay too, and we sell milk and eggs in our hay. We also have to learn about our animals that we're showing. 90% of the kids don't know a lamb could be black and white, and showing lambs is pretty hard. I mean, they're, they're good for my age. I'm almost 100 pounds, and a, a typical lamb, the, would be 135 pounds. So it's not very easy for me to control the lamb, which I'm pushing harder and harder and harder, making it harder and harder and harder for me to control him. But that's how I make him look good, my lamb. What else do you love to do when you're not doing those things? I like to read. I, when I read the Harry Potter series, started in February, finished in July, I think. Um, when I was reading the Harry Potter series, I got my book taken away multiple times by my parents because I'd stay up reading, so. You really liked it? Yeah. And what else do you like to do besides reading? I like to scoot around and just think sometimes. And then I watch TV some, a lot. Get up early and go to coffee with dad in the morning? Yeah. Cottage. Cottage. Yeah, it's downtown. He's got his buddies he likes to talk with at the cottage. It's just a normal thing for all of us now. He'll, so what do you do while he's talking to his buddies? I usually get breakfast and then at points I just want to go in the truck and wait for him because I like to talk to him about weird things because my brain thinks over and over again about just random stuff like a leaf. I could just think about a leaf and how is a leaf made? And then these random questions pop up that I ask him. So. There are 5,000 people that are probably going to see this video, and you have the floor. What would you love to tell them? This is a very tricky question. I've once climbed to almost the very to be top of a tree once on our farm. It was a pine tree. I was, it's that one over there by the pens, um, I was able to get to the point where my friend couldn't see me at all. And How um, did you get down? Climbed, jumped Very up. carefully, huh? Very carefully, and I jumped at the very bottom. 